All right, right now we are a little less than five days away from the moon blocking out the sun and a total solar eclipse. If you can't see it, does it happen? <laughs> it's the really old if the, right, the tree falling in the forest. As people make plans for viewing, uh, of course, if, if this is a, a planetary event, a lot of people are wondering why Luna Pier. Could it possibly, could there be a better viewing spot than, say, uh, Marquette, Michigan? Yeah, Paula Tutman is live in Detroit, where we will have 99% or so eclipse viewing pleasure. Uh, Paula, kind of explain us what that exactly means. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so just think about driving in a car. You look in your, your side view mirror and you don't see anything there, but you go like this and you turn a little bit and all of a sudden, oh my goodness, there's a car right there. That, you know what, there's a blind spot right there because that's the positioning of the vehicle. That's the positioning where you are. So think about the same thing when you are watching the eclipse with the proper eye equipment, of course. What you see is really gonna be determined by where you're standing. Eclipses are actually not that rare. If you have the means to travel to enjoy them, you could catch as many as five solar eclipses in a single year. It all depends on where you're standing. So let's take Monday's total solar eclipse. As the Earth rotates and the moon moves, a shadow moves across the Earth. It will follow a very specific path. Think of a shadow. So if you think of a lot of different shadows, when you have a really bright light source, there's a darker part of the shadow, and then there's a lighter part of the shadow that surrounds it. Dr. Shannon Schmall is the director of the Abrams Planetarium at Michigan State University and explains that because of where Luna Pier is positioned on the globe, it will get to witness the solar eclipse in 100 percent of its glory because of the umbra which is the dark part of the shadow. The penumbra is the lighter side of the shadow. Luna Pier is dab smack in the path of the umbra. Plain English, that area gets the full Monty. So you need to be in that dark part of the shadow to see the moon completely 100% cover the sun. And then that's when you'll see that corona. You'll see it get dark. You'll see 360 degree sunset. Detroit, no worries. You are still in the 99% zone. Which is really cool and really fantastic and worth going out to see. Uh, by the time you get to Lansing, you'll see about 96%, which is still really exciting stuff. But as you move away from that umbra and get into the lighter penumbra, like, say, the UP, you're viewing the total eclipse goes down to about 84%. So because the next uh, eclipse across a good portion of the United States isn't until 2045, this is a really great opportunity to go outside. And if you can travel, then wonderful. If you cannot, this is still such a wonderful chance to go outside and look at a, a natural phenomenon that we don't always get to see. Yeah, so the further away you get from that umbra, the less you'll actually see in terms of the full eclipse but even with what you're able to see, it is going to be interesting, amazing. You get to see science in action and Mother Nature at her best. And don't forget to wear the right yes. eye protection. It's not enough for eye protection. It has to be the real deal and the right stuff, guys. Yeah. So, so very important. Paula, we appreciate your report this evening. And uh, another thing that's kind of going to mess this up is maybe the clouds and rain. <laughs> yeah, and, and not just here. I mean, we're talking about a good, good portion of, of the area. path yeah. of totality. As of right now, we'll have quite a bit of clouds and even some rain.